Back again, April 21st. We'll help you in second there, young man. Uh, Mr. Joel, help him get gloves on. Getting ready to feed the bee. Come in and look at this. This is a huge concentrated mixture of sugar and water with a little dish that just puts it out as a little trickle. That's how it works. So you put it like that, and then we walk over to the beehive to feed the bees. Meanwhile, we got the whole tribe here working on grass. Let's say hi, people. All we do is turn this over and it trickles out. They're going to be very happy to see this. There. Now we're going to take a little bit closer look at what I wanted to see earlier because I got a few more minutes of film. Well, actually, we already saw that this was completely empty. So I'm going to take the whole thing. <coughs> That's going to weigh about 60 pounds when it's full of honey. Let me take a look in here. That's the, the queen excluder. Only the worker bees can get through that, up through that to get into that tier, but the queen's too big. Apparently she's not ready to lay eggs yet, or she is laying eggs. Now, I'm going to go in here and look around a little bit more. Now they got a ton of bee juice, sugar water, so they'll be surrounding in there all the time. I want to go in here and see what's up with my bees. Got a lot of comb that was started there a couple weeks ago. And it looks like they're still working on it. What I want to do is peer inside here. See what they're up to down in there. See if I can get my camera to focus. Let's see if there's anything going on. Battery's gonna die now. They're actually really quiet. All things considered. I'm gonna film until I run out of juice. Then I'll come back and look at this film inside the computer. They do look like they're filling it up in there. Doing a good job way down there. Quiet. Just a minute. Put it way down in there. The focus on the camera seems to be working really well. No complaints with that. Let's see what this all looks like. It's on the macro setting. I got a feeling that I needed to give them more sugar water while I was on business travel this week. They didn't get to feed much, so they didn't have much. And if they don't have much, they don't get to make much comb. If they don't make much comb, and plus it was cold, just not a lot got done this week. Not that my girls are substandard in any manner, way, shape, or form. You can step away, honey. Yeah, they seem to be working only on the interior layer here. The section where there's just a ton of comb. They made their first batch. This must be where they start. Be prepared to jump, Mr. Joel, if they decide they don't like the color green. But that's the comb that they're actually making from the sugar water. And if I zoom way down inside, don't get too close, though, dear. This is where they're going to make all their eggs first. That's Mr. Joel. Hello. Hi.
if you hear the hum change, you'll know it's time to move away a little bit. Right now, right now they're actually pretty cool. Don't get too close, you guys. Get stung. Yeah. There's my other neighbor kids. I've gotten stung before, and it hurt. I got stung from the walk yeah. on my finger. Well, we don't want to do it too much, because then you're going to go home and tell your mom you got stung, and then I'll be in trouble. I don't want that.